somebody had told my wife um, when I was doing that, they were like, they leaned over to her and told her, like, that's coming from a deep place mm-hmm. when I started singing that. And that's, it's true because I, I was instantly flooded with not only how good God was and how he kept me. Mm-hmm. That reality alone is enough to mm-hmm. make me have that Yes, sir. <laughs> but, but even more than that, it was like, Hello everyone, it's Jerry Braden here. I hope you all are off to a great new year. Happy 2024. I recently had the great privilege of sitting down with Taylor Ford, a worship leader here at the homestead of Mobile in Alabama. That's right, we're right here in Mobile, Alabama. And we talked about our recent reunion weekend. He also talked about the heart posture of a worshiper and the prophetic flow and the prophetic worship and how that works and how and how he how he flows in it and he flows in it so wonderful so listen kick back relax enjoy like share and subscribe this is going to be wonderful you don't want to miss it all right thank you so much we recently uh came out of reunion weekend yes sir and it was phenomenal. It was amazing. To say the least. Oh, yeah. And there were some things that happened during that weekend. I was like, man, I got to talk to Taylor about these things. But this, <laughs> before we go into that, Taylor, how you yeah, doing, my man? I'm doing great, man. Love you, man. This is It's yes, an sir. honor to do this with you. And, yes, sir. And uh, I enjoy I enjoy you and your family. Yes, sir. Good people and enjoy the family here at the homestead. And so I thought this would be awesome. Yes, sir. Thank you for letting me um, <laughs> bombard your oh, office. Oh, you good. <laughs> and come and set up stuff, mics and lights and all that stuff. But, man, I, I really, really, and not just that, not just this, but even your, your oh, God, I don't want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like crying today. Yeah. In the first few minutes, I feel like I'm going to cry. But, but yeah. man, just your kindness to me. Yes, sir. It is. Uh, Pops talks about your joy and your genuineness and how you are, but, man, it, it ain't no lie. Yeah, thank it you, is, man. It is seriously, it is real, and it is a real thing. And I thank you for your kindness. Thank you, me. sir. It means a lot to me. I, I, I've called on Taylor quite a few times yes, sir. to help me with things. And, and every single time he's helped me, got me out, pulled me out the fire. <laughs> he has helped me in, in a major way. So I, I really appreciate you, man. Yes, sir. You're welcome, pre- man. How, how is things going? It's a new year, but how how is things going, man? Yeah, man, going? things are going great. You know, we just recovering from the end of the year, four services and three days and four. Yeah, you know, four you know four services, four three or four days and. Yes, but it's it's always amazing. I mean, honestly, it, mm-hmm. you know, used to years ago, I think a lot of people that used to be a part of different things in years gone by would say. It was very tiring, but I can genuinely say that it really wasn't. Yes, sir. There was a there was an overwhelming sense of peace. Yes, sir. Um, there was just a lot of joy in what happened over the weekend, and once the weekend concluded, mm-hmm. um, you know, I caught up on some good rest, <laughs> some much needed rest for sure, uh, both vocally and physically. Right. So, right. But it honestly was amazing. It was it was a. a a really really fun time. Mm-hmm. A lot of people able to be here too. Hadn't seen the extended family in a while. Um, people from Georgia and and uh, Ohio and right. all over the place were able to be here and hadn't been able to see them in a long time. Right. So it was it was good. Right, man. I mean, so we're right in the, into into the questions because man, you you were here. I was here for four services because yeah, I have children. Yeah, and they're part of the youth. Oh yeah. And so you were here, you're worshiping, you're your worship leader, but but you also, I mean, four services. Oh, yeah. But even though the first two were maybe youth services, oh, yeah. they weren't youth services. Oh, no, no. Oh, they were oh, so much deeper than that, for sure. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's, oh, it's man. amazing. It, I mean, it, it is amazing. Yeah. Because, and I'll be honest with you, man, where I come from and sometimes the background that I've had and where I've, what I've seen. Yeah. A lot of times, youth services, you know, they be a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a challenge. It is, it, it is and the, the impact isn't like, it's not like it is when you bring in the adults. And bring, right, oh, it's for like, sure. It's like, you know, yeah. the, the, when you bring in adults, this one's like, it's like on steroids. And yeah. You, 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 the, the youth service, it needs creatine. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. But it's not like that here. Oh, yeah. It's not like that Not here. at all. 
all of them is like you know an uh, army emoji or uh, oh, uh, strong yeah. army emoji because it's like whoo. if anything it's stronger you know there's Brother. I've, I've noticed how even services that we've had when a lot of our youth may not be here mm-hmm. or they're out of town mm-hmm. um it's not that it suffers the lord still moves yes, but sir. it's but you you actually can tell a huge difference even when some of these kids are not here. Mm-hmm. You know, there were time over the holidays, like doing Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. even Christmas, when some of the kids, you know, families are traveling. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, you would you would say back in the day when adults missed, it was a struggle. And mm-hmm. it's like now you're like, man, when some of these kids miss, right. I, I really feel it in the spirit. These yes, kids are that engaged. Wow. Yes, and sir. they're that important mm-hmm. to what happens here. Yes, sir. And uh, Papa D always talks about, how they're our compass yes, sir. and uh, their truer words have never been said. Mm-hmm. They really are. Yes, and sir. so to, to have those roles almost reversed is yeah. something that you've had to kind of get used to, but it's been amazing. Yes, sir. I love these kids yes, sir. and I, I almost get more hype, more excited mm-hmm. for the services and things that we do yes, sir. with the kids, yes, even sir. than a normal Friday night. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. it's awesome. I'm just gonna keep going right into, yeah, right into it, man. Can you talk about your expectations prior to our most recent uh, reunion weekend? Yeah, before the weekend, what were some of your expectations? What you were thinking about what God would do and all those things? You know, it's wild, man. It's it's um, how I approach worship um, and how I approach how I lead has changed so drastically. Mm-hmm. in the last year and a half. That's how long I've been living here in Mobile. Yes, sir. You know, born and raised in North Carolina my right. whole life. Right. Um, served at the church my grandfather pastored. Right. Um, when Pastor Bren Waddell took over, served under his um, his anointing, his fathership there in North Carolina, right. which was amazing. Mm-hmm. And um, even from all of that, how phenomenal it was, moving here was such a different animal. Yes, sir. And so leading worship and how I approach things going into it have changed drastically. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know that I have any one particular phrase or um, anything that I could say that I was specifically expecting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then here's why I say that. Mm-hmm. I have, and I think you'll know what I mean when I say this, I have swapped expectation mm-hmm. for my posture. Yes. What I mean is, is I don't necessarily say, okay, this, this, or this is going to happen going into the weekend. Because sometimes expectation can be your greatest friend Mm -hmm. or your greatest enemy. Um, Expectation sometimes, and I think growing up in church, you know, expectation is something, you know, know, and I don't think that's all wrong. Mm -hmm. I think those words are still good. Yes, sir. Um, But sometimes expectation can also put the Lord in a box. Yes, sir. um, Because you're like, I expect this to happen. Mm -hmm. And then if it doesn't. Yeah. You know, then we go, well, then you start to say, well, that didn't happen or maybe that wasn't as good as I thought. Mm-hmm. When in reality, the Lord was moving the way he wanted to. Now, yes, again, sir. it's not a blanket statement. Mm-hmm. Expectation is good. It's right yes, for people to come in. But again, I've almost exchanged that word for posture. Mm-hmm. Now, what do I mean by posture? Meaning I set my heart mm-hmm. and my eyes and my spirit solely on Jesus. Mm-hmm. And I allow myself to stare at him. You know, yes, Pops sir. has talked about you become what you behold. Yes, sir. So I've allowed myself to just stare at the face of mm-hmm. Jesus, obviously in my everyday life. Yes, sir. But even at a heightened level, especially when we come into these weekends, because yes, I want the posture of my heart to be on on the proper level that mm-hmm. it needs to be at yes, sir. to be able to lead people. I don't yes, take sir. leading this family. I don't care how small of a gathering or how big of a gathering it is. I don't take what I do lightly. Yes, sir. So I always want to make sure my heart is in the proper place. And yes, sir. Tyler England, who is the music director, who's also really the worship pastor mm-hmm. uh, over the rest of us, amazing, mm-hmm. amazing leader, obviously a phenomenal keyboard player. Yes, sir. He, his, his whole approach to leading us has always been about posture, mm-hmm. about keeping your, your spirit man and who you are totally geared and set towards the Lord. Yes, sir. And so I think it's less about, I had certain things that I that I expected to happen. It's yes, more about like, Jesus, I just love you. Mm-hmm. And I know that if you're here and I know that you are, right. anything's possible. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. I don't have any yes, particular sir. expectation mm-hmm. other than I know he's going to he's gonna meet us. Yes, sir. Yes, and he sir. does every time. Man, it sounds like, it sound like you're getting ready for um, Union University. Yeah. Right. <laughs> huh? Hey, you never know. It sounds like you're getting ready yeah. for it already. Already. Yes, sir. <laughs> so now... Um, 
we, we talked about that. How would you even describe what actually took place? Yeah. Out of that weekend, how 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 would you could you can you put it even into words? Oh man, that's that's a that's a tough question. You know, it's it, it's really hard to put into words um, because I, I I feel like words sometimes can be so cheap in comparison mm-hmm. to what I actually experienced. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'll say this. I mean, I know since being here in the last year and a half, we've done many reunion services yes. over the last year, yes. all of which have been phenomenal but something about this past weekend and again like it's like anytime we do something with the kids Mm -hmm. youth leading into something Mm -hmm. it's almost like even that that water level even rises even more yeah yeah. um something about that really projects us into even deeper waters yes um but experiencing what happened i mean i don't it's it's hard to put into words man it's it's really hard to pin it down and say this is what I think happened. Right. I, I really just believe that right. the room was filled with people mm-hmm. that were hungry, mm-hmm. that were thirsty, that were um, desiring to be in a posture of worship. Yes, sir. And I've learned leading over the years how people approach services and how they come in really matter even towards what can really happen over the weekend. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. And not to put the onus fully on people. Uh-huh. Obviously, the Lord can do whatever. You, can't, right. you don't want to put the Lord in a box. Right. But people's heart postures do help, and yes, they sir. do matter. Yes, sir. Um, and so people, just people being crammed into that room, there was hey. people crammed in there. Yeah, I mean crammed. I mean crammed. Whoa. There had to be 500 people, Shh. and probably another uh, 80 to 100 people, yes, some in the foyer, some mm-hmm. upstairs in overflow. Yes, sir. Um, and I think people's heart postures were just full of joy. Yes, sir. They were excited. Yes, sir. Um, and people just came mm-hmm. in with this sense of like love and honor for the place, mm-hmm. knowing that that God is here. Mm-hmm. And so uh, yes, I say all that to say it's really hard to say what happened it is. other than I, I, I'll, I'll say this to that. What Poss has been teaching about beloved identity, mm-hmm. beloved righteousness, yes, becoming what you behold, mm-hmm. I think all of us more gr- growing in our understanding. Poss always says, you, you, can't, you can't grow in righteousness. Mm-hmm. You are as righteous mm-hmm. as God. Yes, but growing in our understanding of this righteousness, growing in our understanding of our beloved identity mm-hmm. status, I think that's what's making the, the water levels rise, if you will. It's, yes, it's people finally coming to the conclusion mm-hmm. that Abba is for me. He's mm-hmm. not against me. Yes, sir. I am ri- as righteous as God. Mm-hmm. I I I finally am knowing that not only does he love me, he, is a, he doesn't just have to love me. He wants to love me. Yes, he likes me. Yes, he cares about me. Yes, Those things becoming a reality in our hearts mm-hmm. is what really has caused our worship to progress mm-hmm. and things water levels to rise and things to happen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so it's hard to pin down and fully yeah. in words yeah. what we experience other than I believe this message of beloved righteousness is finally starting to really take hold in our hearts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you talk about you talk and you spoke right to it. Um the the attendance. <clears throat> when I came in on Thursday night, I was like, whew, if this is Thursday night. Man. I know. And that was Ooh. all youth. I yes. mean, there were, <clears throat> excuse me, there were probably, you know, probably 30 adults, mm-hmm. um, obviously youth leaders, mm-hmm. people yeah. bringing people yeah. in, but that room was crammed full it on a Thursday crammed. night full. and 85 to 90% mm-hmm. of it was kids. Yes, sir. Anywhere from uh, 11, yes, sir. you know, to yeah. Yeah. 18, 19, mm-hmm. some even 20. Yes, sir. So it was it was amazing. It was wild. It, it, was, it was wild. So I was like, man, whoo, yeah. how's this thing going to be I know. the next two? You know, we had two youth gatherings in the summer. Yeah, right. I believe one was in June, and mm-hmm. I know the other one was in August. Right, right. Um, and they were phenomenal. Mm-hmm. But, man, that Thursday night was like, I remember because I was leading Thursday night. It was mm-hmm. um, myself mm-hmm. and um, uh, my good friend Aaron Brackens, mm-hmm. um, who, who's with us here, and then my good friend Joel. Right. Uh, he was leading, and it was just like you could just feel like mm-hmm. this, right. just, this, this mm-hmm. almost electricity right. in the room, and yes, it was sir. just... It's amazing. As a as a worship leader, you get excited about that feeling because yeah. you know, like, boy, we about to mm-hmm. we about to go somewhere. You I mean, know, <clears throat> and I, it's not on my thing, but but pops, 
when we were praying, you know, we had those those Wednesdays of prayer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those in the, those those two weeks. For week sure. For week Christmas or week four, and you know, man, my posture even coming into prayer was like, Father, I, I, what you're going to do this week yeah. through people, not yeah, per se me, yeah. And then you know, you, you know, you come to prayer, you yeah, pray for you, you absolutely. Know? I was praying for others and yeah. what you're going to do, and it's yeah. amazing because I have been I have been going back and watching some of the old, um, some of the I think it was Wilderness Societies. Oh yeah, he talked yeah. about absolutely how uh, um, Saul went to go see. He was going to get David. Yeah, but you know, but he was going where Samuel was. Yeah, in in, in Ramah. And he was talking about how he sent all his troops three different times. Yeah. And how the spirit uh, prophecy overwhelmed them when they got there. Oh, yeah. But how when he came, it hit him in the city as he, as he mm -hmm. was saw. Yeah. As he was coming. So I was like, God, you know, let your presence be like that. Here. Yeah, that's awesome. Let it, let, it, let it so exude from this place. Yeah. And as they're coming in, let them be like, God, I felt like I can feel this yeah. thing is, you know, so it's... Yeah. It's amazing, man. But sh I wanna, I wanna give a shout out to to all of the parking folks and the, oh yeah, the, the greeters and the ushers and oh, there's no doubt. We we have some of the best <sighs> volunteers in the world. I mean, these are people staff that are not yes, sir. They're not in paid positions. Yeah, yeah. you know, obviously the staff that is here mm -hmm. uh, with Damon Thompson Ministries mm -hmm. with the Homestead, obviously to be commended as well. But I mean, especially the people, mm -hmm. especially the people that mm -hmm. volunteer. I mean, these are people with you know nine to five jobs, yes, families. Sir. That are getting off work, that are coming here, or mm -hmm. taking off work mm -hmm. for the weekends, right. Uh, right. taking vacation time to be here to park a car in the cold. It's actually cold here. In it Mobile. was cold. Bro. It was cold, and so they're parking people, and their ushers are seating mm -hmm. people, and and um, greeters are right. greeting people, mm -hmm. and and the people that help set up and clean afterwards. You know, we yes. all the people that were cleaning after these services, and boy, that was a task in and of yes. itself. You've got people that again, they mm -hmm. they've been at work all day. Right. Then they come here, they mm -hmm. serve, and then we, you know, most of our services were going to nine thirty, ten o'clock at night. Then they're staying yes, an sir. additional thirty, forty five minutes to vacuum, yes, clean. Sir. And you um, know, you can't vacuum over people talking. No, you can't. So you gotta wait till people kind of exit. You know, and people were so kind. But all of our so volunteers kind. here so are are phenomenal people mm -hmm. that I mean, they are just they're in it to serve and mm -hmm. so thankful. And then we have a a lady who's on staff here, yes. Miss Janice Pops, talked yes. about her the other night. Amazing woman. Amazing. I mean, cleans this place top to bottom. Man, I it love is, it when I was walking here and I smell oh, the fragrance. Oh, I, I mean, it's clean God. as a whistle, man. Woo, like she, she knows what she's doing. So, people Woo. like her and the volunteers mm -hmm. really make what we do here happen. Yes, so, sir. so beyond grateful yes, for them. Yes, sir. Let's talk about Friday night. Yeah, let's go Friday night. Let's do it. Here we go. Because this is why I, I yeah I came to you Saturday, but let's talk. About Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about this 40 minute music interlude. Yeah. A music lude. Yeah, a little instrumental. At the there. beginning oh, yeah. of the service. Can can you just talk about what was what do you feel in your heart was happening even in that moment? Yeah. Because after that I was like, I'm gonna let you talk. You talk yeah, yeah. can you talk about what was happening in, in your heart in that moment? What was what was happening in that moment? You know, again, I, Moving here a year and a half ago, my whole posture towards worship has shifted. Mm -hmm. um, how I approach it, how I lead during it, mm -hmm. um, and even how I approach worship when I don't lead, mm -hmm. um, which which is something that I haven't experienced in mm -hmm. quite a long time. You know, mm -hmm. it was I was the only worship leader in North Carolina mm -hmm. um, with your cousin with with Pastor yeah, Brand, with, with Pastor Brand mm -hmm. yes sir, and uh, it was amazing. I mean, he did an amazing job. And we, I mean, brother, you talk about revivals. I mean, we had some real deal services, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you know, there were, there was some element of it, like being the only one that could right. be a little lonely sometimes, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you know? And so even being able to move here and there's so many people, I mean, so yeah. many worship leaders and amazing yeah. people that come here yeah. and to yeah. be able to do yeah. what we do and then also be able to take a break has been mm -hmm. so amazing. But I say all that to say my posture has changed drastically. And again, Tyler England talks about with the worship team, with all mm -hmm. of us all the time, like. Just keeping your heart in a place that mm -hmm. is postured towards him. Yes, sir. And and your your whole being just being open. You know, we're mm -hmm. we're Papa D talks about us being Numa people. We're mm -hmm. people of the wind. Yes, sir. So when we get up for worship, it's nothing for us to feel like 
we somebody starts playing in, in the in the music world we call it a lick. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. it's just just for reference, but somebody starts playing a lick, and we're like, oh, okay, uh -huh. and that may be where we're going tonight. Yes, sir. Or we may stop immediately and start a song. Yes, sir. Or we may not do a song at all. Mm -hmm. um, but during that first forty minutes, I mean, that was probably some of the most powerful worship from that whole evening. I mean, it was like. I mean, and people just were engaged, man. They were like, their hearts were not a single lyric, not a single statement is being made at all. Not a and single. And people are mm -hmm. just losing yes, it sir. for Jesus. Yes, it sir. was amazing. Yes, and sir. so when I, I, I you know, I, I can be in my everyday life a little bit of an overthinker. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm very analytical at times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have learned, man, not that I shut that part of me off, but mm -hmm. there is an element of when we come in, that's why we said earlier, I don't necessarily come in with expectations. Yes, I just know he's here and he's going to move. Yes, sir. And I keep my set. We call we keep ourselves up. Yes, sir. So if we feel like, <laughs> if we feel by the wind, hey, we feel this song. Yeah. We feel to do every song we practice. Mm -hmm. We don't feel to do any of them that we practice. <laughs> it really is in the moment. So genuinely what I'm thinking in that moment is I'm not really thinking anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just keeping my heart engaged, yes, my sail up, mm -hmm. making sure that I'm hearing the Lord mm -hmm. um, for the right time to sing, mm -hmm. the right time to be quiet, mm -hmm. um, the right time to go to the next song. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I just I'm just I'm as engaged as anybody else would yes, be. Sir. Yes, sir. You know, and even though I may not be singing or doing anything like that, I'm like all right, this is where we're going, you mm -hmm. know, and we just we just throw ourselves up and let the wind Brother, blow us like a sailboat, man. Brother, I mean, it would appear that in those in those moments like that, that yeah. you only really ha like you only have two options: either you turn your eyes to Jesus or you check out. Yeah, oh for sure. Now there's probably more options. Oh no, those are the main two. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, you either turning your eyes to Jesus and and so. I, because right when service started, I had walked out, you know, because we're going to be in here for a minute. So I'm oh, like, yeah. I'm going to use the restroom. And come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'll be ready to go. Yeah, plus, yeah, yeah. Plus, I don't want to, I want Papa D to rebuke me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. No, yeah. but I'm like, let me go to the restroom. Yeah. And I come back in, and and I'm standing there, and I'm like, and as you all are just feeling it. And yeah. It's, it's filling the room. This, yeah. The sound is filling the room. I'm like, okay, let's. Close your eyes, son. Yeah. Let's turn our eyes to Jesus. Yeah. And 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 it was crazy, like you said, because it's like everyone just began to. It seemed like they begin to do the first part, engage. Oh man. You said it. Oh yeah. For, I like, mean, from front to back. You man. know. You know. Again, as a leader, you you. The the blessing and the curse of that sometimes is you you, and this is something as a worship leader that I'm learning. Like how how relevant should this be? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you're a little more aware of the room than you probably should be. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm learning to not, again not necessarily turn that part off, but I'm learning that mm -hmm. it's Jesus is what matters. Mm -hmm. My posture and heart towards Him is what matters, mm -hmm. and what the room does shouldn't be relevant to me at yes, all. Sir. But at the same time, you know, there is an element of like, you definitely feel it when the room is mm -hmm. not engaged. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. wasn't the case at all mm -hmm. on Friday night. It was like from the moment we hit the first mm -hmm. note mm -hmm. until, like you said, 40, 45 minutes mm -hmm. later till we even did the first song. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it sir. was like, wow, this is, yes, sir. this is something special. And I mean, I can genuinely say like the group of people that we have been so blessed to attract, whether that be the people that have moved here, yes, sir. you know, guys like y'all, yes, the the Bradens and, and all of these type of people, and then the people that fly in, yeah. drive in, they're amazing people. Mm -hmm. It's just, these are people that are taking vacation times, right. they're, you know, it's not easy to get down here from Ohio, you know, yes, you sir. got people like Jimmy and Tina Lovejoy yes, that sir. are driving in a van with kids and people right. in the church 15, 16 hours, you yes, got sir. people that are flying and Flying these days ain't cheap. No, sir. You know, they're flying their whole three, four, five member family, which is thousands of dollars and coming down. So what's great about having those type of people attend is that they already have a sense of honor in their heart mm -hmm. because they're paying the price to come. Man, right. And so when they get in the room, they're not going to waste Man, time going, right. well, I'm tired. Yes, or I'm just like, no, they're excited they're to be here. And you feel yeah. that. Right. You know, right. as a leader, you, you sense that. And, 
it's ob obviously rooms like that make it super yes, easy to leave. Yes, sir. You yes, know, sir. and it just yes, makes what we do that mm -hmm. much easier. And you don't have to, because, you know, I, I grew up back in the day. There used to be people come to church with mm -hmm. with baggage. And, they, and, and I'm not saying they should or shouldn't. Yeah. But Papa D talked about it the other night. He mm -hmm. talked about during offering. He talked about how, you know, what what a... What an unfortunate thing to bring God your mood. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, or you're going to bring yes, God your mood mm -hmm. because of the day that you had. Right. And I know because I've done that. Mm -hmm. As a leader, I've done mm -hmm. that. I've brought God my mood. Mm -hmm. I've not been in a good mood. Things yes, have sir. happened. Oh, yes, I'm sir. justified in how I feel. Mm -hmm. and I'm upset about this, that, or the other. Right. And Papa D just really helped us the other night talking about don't bring God your mood. Yes, sir. Bring him your yes, worship. Sir. And even if you've had the I worst day ever, and we've all been there, mm -hmm. even if you had the worst day ever, He's still worthy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And boy, I'm telling you, like, it was yeah. just, it was a powerful thing to be a part of. Man, you, for sure. You can't, and that's not, a, I'm not going to use that word sacrifice, but moments like this, even coming here. Yeah. You, you already know what it is. Yeah. So either you're going to be in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or you ain't going to come. Oh, for sure. You already know how the flow may go. Absolutely. You're not going to get mad because, oh, we just, they just played music for an hour. Yeah. Well, if you've been following this, this what is what yeah. can happen. Well, listen, I can tell you, we're about one thing here, Man. and that's tell Jesus. Them. We're that's not it. about anything else. That's we it. anything else that we do here is purely what the Lord Jesus talked about. I only do what I see and hear right. my Father do, right. and it's it's the right. same thing. It's like we're right. about Jesus here. Right. We're right. not about anything else. And anything else that happens out of that mm -hmm. is awesome. It's mm -hmm. overflow. It's good. We honor it, but we're about one thing. And um, even in that instrumental flow, I mean, I, I have to stop and give honor to all of our musicians. Me. I mean, again, people on staff like me, me Tyler England, obviously um, part of that being our job. But people like Elijah Ward, who played drums, me. Rudy, yes, sir. saxophone. I mean, my God, <sighs> Rudy's like having Michael Jordan on your me. team. You know what I mean? A man of many talents, him me. and Tyler both. It's just, yes, sir. they're just such anointed, gifted mm -hmm. Loving people. Right. You've got people like Anna Ivy who plays uh, the violin. Yes, Luke sir. Thompson plays guitar. Right. You got Jordan Smith plays guitar. You got all these people that that right. give of their time. Matt White plays bass. Yes, sir. These are guys that they have normal jobs, normal lives, or yes, normal things, and they come in every week. No, mm -hmm. no, no sense of like they're going to get anything mm -hmm. out of it, and they give of their heart posture. Mm -hmm. They give of their life. Yes, sir. And it's like. Times like that happen yes, on Friday night, mm -hmm. obviously because of the Lord, yes, sir. but also because of the Lord in people. Yes, sir. And those, it could not, it, it could not be what it is mm. without those amazing musicians. And it's, it's the greatest joy of my life. Mm -hmm. And I truly mean that to, to run with those people. Yes, sir. And to play and lead with them. Yes, sir. You know, it's just, everybody's, again, everybody comes from different walks mm -hmm. and backgrounds of mm -hmm. life and mm -hmm. different challenges, but Everybody's posture is the same. Yes, sir. Everybody is about the one thing. Man, that's what's that's what's amazing. This isn't in my notes, but I, you know, I, I think it's obvious, and I, I hope I'm not overstating the obvious, but it's got to be amazing to be under a leader. Yeah, that will give you this space of freedom. Say for sure, you worship absolutely. And go, go, just and. And see, it would it would be okay if you, you if he was a musician. Absolutely, you would, because if he's a musician, oh, oh yeah, because I've been I've been to churches where yeah, the musician pastors, a musician makes the sense. The pastor was a musician, absolutely. So he, he was like, hey, you know, at one hundred percent. But he's not a music. Well, he throw me off sometimes. Yeah, okay? yeah. Pops throw me <laughs> off every now and then. I'm gonna tell it. Yeah, because. When you say, you know, come on, everybody, just let's pray in the spirit, and then he'll start. Oh my mom, my mom. Oh like, yeah. Okay. Maybe he does sing. Oh, he's a but... worship leader for sure. There's no doubt about it. You know, he may, he may not sing songs and do that, but he he is a worship leader. And you're yes, so sir. right. Having a leader like that is, I, I don't, I'm trying to think of a crazy. It's, it's invaluable, man. You know, and and here's what's awesome about Papa D. He is one of the most trusting, hands off individuals mm -hmm. you ever meet. He never comes to mm -hmm. me or mm -hmm. Tyler England or anybody else that helps lead and goes. All right, now you need to do it mm -hmm. this way, and you mm -hmm. need to do this song, and mm -hmm. he completely and utterly trusts us mm -hmm. in these positions that we are in. Yes, sir. To yes, lead, sir. 
That's wonderful. You know, he's not a micromanager. Yes, never, you know, and again, obviously, Tyler and other people that have been with him longer can mm-hmm. probably speak to it better. Yes, sir. But just in the short amount of time in the last year and a half that I've been under his leadership, I mean, I've been able to witness, like, he's not a micromanager. Yes, sir. He, he never tries to tell you, oh, well, you did that wrong or you shouldn't do that. He's one of the most patient, mm-hmm. um, caring, loving individuals I've ever met. Yes, sir. He allows you to grow. Mm-hmm. You make mistakes. He's not mm-hmm. on your back telling you how mm-hmm. terrible of a job you did. Mm-hmm. None mm-hmm. of that. I yes, mean, he, when, he, when he tells us, you go for it. Mm-hmm. And if I need to tell you something, I'll tell you something. Yes, sir. I, it's real. Mm-hmm. It's ge- it's genuine. I mean, he lets us go for it. And that permission granted mm-hmm. from a leader who's not a micromanager right. is so unbelievably free. Yes, sir. You know, I've, mm-hmm. I I can genuinely say that, my again, my worship style has changed yes, sir. drastically yes, sir. Uh, since moving here. And yes, I can sir. genuinely say, like, it's the most freeing posture that I've ever been in. Mm-hmm. Because, mm-hmm. you know, you come into this room, you're not being assessed. Yes, sir. You're not being measured. <laughs> you know, you're not going, well, I wish you wouldn't have done that song. And, uh-huh. well, you should have done it longer. Uh-huh. Or you should. None of that is happening. Yes, sir. Um, and it's amazing and freeing as a worship leader to be yes, like, I'm not worried about what is he thinking. Is mm-hmm. he plotting? Is he thinking I did? Mm-hmm. He's not like that on any level. So yes, that, that permission granted from a father Man. is so... So huge, and it's been massive in my development, mm-hmm. even wow. since being here. Yes, you know, I've been leading worship for eleven years now, mm-hmm. and obviously sang a ton growing up. But like yes, being sir. in a yes, worship leader position, mm-hmm. probably for eleven or twelve, probably twelve years now. And I mean, this has been some of the most freeing, amazing uh, times of leading I've ever been a part of. That's wonderful. Genuinely, that's wonderful. Yeah, man. that's wonderful, man, <laughs> bro. 40 minutes pass in worship. Yeah. 40 minutes pass. Yeah. Over 40 minutes. Yeah. And the first thing that comes out of your mouth are the lyrics to praise. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. The first thing as a worship leader. Yeah. In that moment. When did that drop on you? The those, lyrics? Those lyrics. When did yeah. that drop on you? Well, what's funny is, is my wife and I, this, this kind of happens to me during the week. <laughs> Shout um, out to the wifey. Yeah. Oh man. My wife, Carly is yes. amazing. Listen, yes. she's a worship leader. Yes. Well, she'll hit me with some okay. songs. She mm-hmm. doesn't sing or play anything, but she, she is really sensitive mm-hmm. and really in tune with, with songs that, that songs that come to her heart mm-hmm. and to her mind. I mean, mm-hmm. there's half the time where I use them on a Friday, coming up to a Friday night. Cause it's powerful, you know, and it's 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 amazing. I've had that experience even when it comes to my children. Yeah, my wife and my children. Oh, absolutely. They'll be singing something and it, it'll be on them strong. Yeah, I'm like all week, and then now it's in my heart. I'm yeah. like, okay, I guess we're gonna oh, do that man, Sunday. We're I'm, gonna do that. Oh man, I've learned to pay attention. Because you know, I used to approach things like I, I come to a humble place where, like, the same thing. My mm-hmm. kids will be singing a song, or Carly will have a song. Her, or she'll tell me about a song, and I'm like, wow, like. I, I, I'm learning to pay attention to that. Right. And I'm learning to right. um, yes, sir. value that. Yes, sir. Um, and so I say all that to say, throughout the week, uh, my wife had been talking about that song. It's by mm-hmm. Elevation. Right. Uh, praise. It's mm-hmm. literally what side of praise. Yes, sir. And uh, we've done it before, but not in a long time. It's been mm-hmm. a while. It's been mm-hmm. a few months. And uh, she was like, man, that song's." I was like, I oh, know. That's, that's a good song. And so we had talked about, we had even practiced it mm-hmm. Um the day before, mm-hmm. but I was like, ah, you know, I don't know if I want to do the whole song, mm-hmm. you know, because sometimes that's the thing about a leader too, is sometimes all you need are bits and pieces of songs. You don't need to do the whole song. Why are you in my notes? <laughs> yeah. Why are you in yeah. my notes? But you in my notes? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes I think we get, uh, and I'm guilty of this. I'm not going to say we, I'm guilty of, I feel a part of a song. So I think, okay, I must need to do that whole song. Mm-hmm. And that's not always the case. Because mm-hmm. we had practiced that whole song. And I was like, eh, I, don't know if I, mm-hmm. I don't know if I feel the whole thing. Mm-hmm. And so that night in worship, it felt very praise to me. Mm-hmm. It felt less um, like in like more, uh, I hate to say less worship. It's all worship. But yeah. I think you'll know what yeah. I mean when I say it felt less like worship and more like mm-hmm. exuberant. Right, exuberant. Mm-hmm. Right. And so I, I was like, as I was sitting there, I was like, man, like, and as we came down, like finally after playing those mm-hmm. 40 minutes, mm-hmm. 
those that bridge of that song just kind of yes, hit sir. my heart, and I'm yes, like, sir. okay, but I, you know, we practice the whole song. I don't know if I love that, mm-hmm. and I kind of wrestled with it for a minute, and I was like, I'm just gonna sing the bridge. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> Tyler's <laughs> playing the one in uh-huh. music world. That's the uh-huh. you know whatever key we were in, C uh-huh. or otherwise. Yes, sir. He was just on that, so I was like, I, we can flow anywhere from yes, out of this. Yes, sir. I was like, so let's just give it a whirl. Mm-hmm. I felt it in my heart. Mm-hmm. I felt it from the Lord. Um, I felt it a couple minutes before we kind of came down mm-hmm. and I was like, you know, and that's the thing is like being led by the wind. Yeah. Um, yeah. It can be super freeing and scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause, and this is the biggest thing I've had to get free from. And Tyler England has helped me tremendously with this mm-hmm. and pops as well. Mm-hmm. Um, is not being worried about messing things up. Mm-hmm. I can't tell you how many times I've been told by both men, you can't mess this up. Mm-hmm. You, you, and you go, yeah, yeah, but but I kind of can. It's like, no, <laughs> you cannot mess this up. Wow. Even if you go to the wrong song or even if you, you know, the mm-hmm. wrong song, mm-hmm. even if you make seemingly the wrong choice, mm-hmm. you can't mess this up. Yes, sir. The, the Lord is good, and sometimes wow. we put too much ability on ourselves to mess this thing yes, up. Sir. We can't. Yes, sir. And so... I yeah. learned, I'm like, I'm going to go for this. And if it goes over, great. And if it don't, well, yes, we'll move on. Yes, sir. No big deal. No mm-hmm. harm, no foul. Sometimes as a leader, too, you just got to learn to get in that and go, well, that didn't go over. Mm-hmm. Don't get upset about it. Don't try to push it. Mm-hmm. Move on. Mm-hmm. My cells are up again. I'm going to see mm-hmm. what the Lord's saying. Yes, sir. And so we came down. I kind of felt that bridge and just went for it. Man, you know? man. Just that part of the song. Brother, I, I, remember, the, I remember another time you did the song. I think, uh, I think. Pastor Brian had preached. He did. We did it and, at the end. And he did it at the end of the yeah. service. And oh God, it strong. Was, it was that thing. Oh, was yeah. like whew. it was strong. <laughs> oh yeah, heavyweight. I oh was yeah, like, My major goodness, weight. Oh yeah. Man. It's so it's 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 it, you you talked about so much just even in and I'm not playing even yeah because it's on it's, yeah it's, <laughs> I believe it's you. on here man <laughs> um we're gonna get back to some of that but let's shift to. Let's shift to Saturday. Okay. Let's go to Saturday. Yeah, Saturday yeah. was a different flow. Right. That totally was a different, different flow. flow. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, when you worship, you know, I don't have to talk about it. Like I said, I don't feel like crying today. But yeah. I will. But I mean. <laughs> Welcome to the club. I, mean, I cry every day. <laughs> my children be like, Daddy, you always crying. <laughs> you know, they talk about me, man. Yeah, they yeah, love yeah, me. Yeah. But, man. It's just natural. You are full of joy as Pastor. Thank you. And then, and not just that, but just like Thanksgiving. So you yeah. were like, and you feel, and so even, you know, from a musician to a musician, yeah. worship leader, worship leader, I'm sitting out there, not, I'm, I'm like, dude, you know, you feel it. I feel it myself. And I'm happy. I'm like, yeah. man, you better sing. <laughs> you know how black folks are. Uh, you know how we do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell no me, doubt. You better sing. Let's go. Hey, I appreciate you that. Know, because, I grew up with that. You know, we it's like you you feel that 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 joy, that Thanksgiving, yeah. that praise. Yeah. It, it, it was a different flow. Um, if I was to hand you a guitar right now, yeah, and you could only play one song, yeah, but it had to be in the key of F. Well, the key of F. Okay. What would that song be? Oh, well, that was going to be easy. You say the key of F. It that has kinda, to be in the key of F. Yeah, that changes things because I'm not normally in the key of F. I, well, my, if you're not in the, even if I'm not in the key of F, okay. what would be that one song? Yeah, so normally like my normal one keys song. are mm-hmm. like C, mm-hmm. normally in C, sometimes mm-hmm. in D, sometimes in, in B flat. It just mm-hmm. depends on the song. Um, if I were, to answer your question, if I was in the key of F, we recently learned this song that I actually do in the key of F. Mm-hmm. Um, it's called River of Love. Mm-hmm. It's by um, David and, uh, let's see, how, how do you, Jonathan David Helser, mm-hmm. his wife Melissa Helser. Mm-hmm. They're out of Sophia, North Carolina. They okay. weren't too far from where I grew up. Oh, okay. Um, and they have a group called Cageless Birds. Some of the people that are connected to them, some of the young adults that are connected to them. Wow. And they did a song called River of Love. And it just, mm-hmm. Honestly, a lot of the lyrics are very like similar to even what Pops talks about, beloved identity. And really? so I recently, we recently learned that song. We do that song, Key of F. So if I had to be in Key of F, I'd probably do that song because that's basically the only song I do in the Key of F. If it's not an F, then what If it's do? not an F. Any song, um, any, one, only one though. Yeah. I, there, um, I would, right now where I'm at, and I've learned 
I hate to use the word season, but mm-hmm. for lack of better words, I've learned like even in worship, you go through seasons of where songs touch you more deeply than they do in other seasons. Mm-hmm. And right now, it'd probably be like, this is how I thank the Lord. Bing, 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 bing. That's the song that I did Saturday. It would definitely be that song. Uh, because that's what I have here. Yeah. And that's why I said the key I've is I've been on that song big time. Because yeah. I, know that, I know that song is an F. Because I, well, I Yeah, the original research. key is. Yeah, I, because I, uh-huh. she it's it's a it's a, it's a a lady by the name of Abby Gamboa. She's mm-hmm. at Upper Room mm-hmm. in Dallas. Mm-hmm. Um, but I can't sing as high as she can. Uh-huh. So I, I we lowered it to C for me. We sort of inverted it. I got you. Um, and so I love that song. That's been one of my favorite songs lately. Brother, I, 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 I went... To listen to the song, yeah, and find it myself because yeah, we, you know, we be in service and you know, you, you, while you're in service here, you know, people will take out their phone, they'll you know, they'll take a shot of the oh yeah, so for sure, my for wife sure, sends me songs, we send each other songs, but I, I just I I went to hear it myself and yeah, who sings this song and listen yeah. to it, and I was like, man, and it was interesting because I, I believe it was Tuesday night, I think it was Tuesday night. I was tossing and turning, but even whenever I, you know how you when you're asleep, but you'll come out of your you come out of sleep and it's like a song will be on your heart. Oh yeah, for sure. And it's like all I was singing was I will sing, I will sing. Yeah. I was like my God, I was like this song yeah. is on me, my. But I know. there's a, I think for me there's a story for that as well. But yeah. it was interesting because <clears throat> um, even earlier as I was setting up, and this yeah. is no lie, as I was setting up. You were singing that song as we were setting up. What What is that song doing in your heart, man? Man, that song is just such a good song. You know, it talks about, um, even in that first verse, that first verse, I don't have enough words. Mm-hmm. I could never live enough lifetimes to fully know your word, mm-hmm. to know all that you deserve. Mm-hmm. And then it talks about all of my deceptions, all of my duplicity. Mm-hmm. Now there is no record. Mm-hmm. You've always assumed the best of me. Right. Right. I mean, again, I hate to keep, not to be beat a dead horse, but it's like Ooh. even that beloved righteousness message, like yes, sir. the fact that he keeps no record of wrong, Man. he assumes the best of me. Yes, sir. When growing up, it's like, you know, now Pops talks about how his his particular growing up, uh, he kind of had this thought and concept of, you know, the Lord doesn't really like me. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't really grow up like that. Mm-hmm. I, I grew up. Knowing that the Lord loves me, mm-hmm. but it was more so a problem with me. Mm-hmm. It really wasn't a problem with him. I'm not saying that I viewed him all correctly. Mm-hmm. I don't think that I did. Because mm-hmm. I think if I did, it would have made me view myself correctly. Yes, sir. But I am saying like it was more so on me. It was more so like I know he loves me, but but I'm not worthy. Mm-hmm. There's yes, no sir. way I can be. Yes, sir. And so when that song talks about how now there's no record, he assumes mm-hmm. the best of me. Mm-hmm. And then talks about this is how I thank the Lord for saving me mm-hmm. when I was weak. Yes, sir. So I will sing. And yes, then sir. even that bridge talks about I will sing, I will sing. Yeah. I will lift my praises to you. Yes, sir. It's almost like my whole life story is in that mm-hmm. song. Mm-hmm. From first verse to yes, chorus sir. to the same one. It's like everything that my journey has been about with the Lord is in that song, mm-hmm. realizing that he keeps no record. He assumes the best of me. That's why I'm so thankful. Mm-hmm. And so I think that song has spoke to me because it's been my life. Mm-hmm. Like, you've always assumed the best mm-hmm. of me. You love me. You care about me deeply. Yes, and I can't help but say thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, I can't sir. help but respond and go, this is why I praise you, Lord, and I'm yeah. going to lift my voice. Yes, sir. I'm never not going to lift my voice. I love how you lift your voice. Like, I'm going to lift my voice to the Lord. <laughs> yes, and sometimes, you know, I go back and watch myself on these worship, and I'm like, whoo, boy, I got a little a little wild right there. A lot of screaming hey. going on, you know what I mean? Hey. And it's like, but when, when I, I don't know what it is. You know, people have often asked me, like, how, how are you so full of joy? And how are, how, like, why are you that way? And I'm like, it's just Thanksgiving, man. Yes, I feel like. I've not done a lot of things right in my life, as yes, all of us could say. Yes, sir. But one thing that I feel like that I have approached well, and you can always approach things better. Yes, sir. But I think that I've approached things well is I've always been a thankful guy. Yes, sir. Um, thankful to people, mm-hmm. uh, thankful to authority, thankful to people around me, and just thankful to the Lord. Yes, sir. Um, and my life hasn't turned out all and everything perfect, mm-hmm. but I've always remained in a place of thanksgiving. Yes, sir. And uh, Pastor Brand used to say, Thanksgiving is an unlocker. Mm-hmm. 
It's an unlocker. It's a, it's wow. a key. It's a and uh, I really have found that to be true in my life. And it's that's a, why that song, just purely saying, thank thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Um, anything with thank you in it, I'm like, it's going to speak to me. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that song has been really special for me. Um because it just thanks the Lord. Man. There's no other agenda. Yes, sir. You know, it's not talking about how I'm feeling right now. It's not right. talking about, it's not, I'm not, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah. any of that's wrong, but it's just thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. And that's why it's been so man. special to me. That's, man, listen. It, I, when you started singing it, I was, <laughs> what's interesting, Taylor, is that um, Friday, during the Friday day service with, with, the, with the youth. Right. I was there, and you know how you come to, you have certain moments with the Lord when you really just, just like, Lord, this is what it is. Yeah. I had a, this is what it is moment. Yeah. And the moment was, Father, I don't want to sing with you. Not, <clears throat> well, not because of the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was being sung. No, 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 no. Yeah. My position was, I don't want to sing something that I'm not currently experiencing right. and i want to yeah and i want because we were sitting we were singing i know your eyes are like fire yeah 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 hair is white as wool yeah yeah your your, your voice is sounds, sounds like, like waters yeah jesus you're beautiful yeah right? i can't say that from a place of seeing you yeah although i want to see you. yeah and and but in my heart it was like i know i can't leave you because yeah. you've been too faithful. Yeah, yeah, and you've yeah. You've been too good. Oh, for sure. I can't leave. I can't because you know people are like, well, if you know God, if you don't do this, I'm leaving you. Yeah. I can't really do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you've been too faithful. Yeah, yeah. But I know what I can do. Yeah. I'm just. I'm not gonna sing no more. Yeah. I ain't. I ain't gonna sing no. More. Yeah. And that's. I'm in worship saying this to the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not in my head. Yeah. My mouth. Yeah. You're. That, that, uh, uh, Matt was up. Matt Matt Putman was doing yeah. Matt and I can't remember it was who Matt was. and Tina Lovejoy. Right. Friday morning. I'm like, nah, I'm not I'm not doing this. Yeah. And I sat and I was there and I just began to just weep before the Lord. Yeah. Just weeping. Yeah. I'm weeping, you know, you weep here, it's just just not, you know how it is. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a mess. I I walk out, I go to the bathroom, I come back and I sit on the floor in the back. Yeah. And I'm sitting on the floor in the back. My children, even they, they're like, Daddy, where you go? Yeah. Because they didn't see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting in the back, and I'm just weeping, and I'm like, I, 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 this is what I want from you. I I want what I sing to be real. Yeah. You know, you you want to be real. Absolutely. You know, you really want to be authentic and real. Oh, yeah. Like what you're doing, I ain't going to be singing stuff and not really, really encountering it. And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Although you've had, enc I've had encounters. No, for sure. But man, it's something more. Right. There's there's something more it's like God. Okay, man. So I go back to my seat after a good while. Yeah. And I go back to my seat and I can't remember what they were singing, but I'm lifting up my hands and I don't want to sing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do not want to sing one bit of this. Yeah. Like I said, not because of the the song. No, no, no. I know what you mean. It's just Father. I want this to be the lyric to be real in my life. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit whispered something to me. He said, "Don't stop singing." Wow. Don't stop. Yeah. And not just don't stop, but don't stop singing to me. Yeah. It's good. And so now I'm I'm, I'm crying even more. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So when we get to Saturday <laughs> and you start singing, I oh, was singing. Yeah. yeah. Man, I can't contain myself. <laughs> I'm weeping like a baby. Oh, no doubt. The day before, I was like, I don't want to sing. Yeah. Not that you're not faithful. It's just no, that. No, no, no. I don't want to So, mean. man, I mean... I, I don't know about other people, but I probably other people say, man, God, yeah, I'm thankful for, you know, yeah. you sharing what's blessing you. Yeah. What's touching your heart. For sure. You're sharing it with us and it's, and it's touching our hearts, man. It really, really well, is. The one thing I've learned, too, is even talking about, you know, I don't want to sing. I think religion oftentimes has taught us over the years, if you don't really mean it, don't sing it, don't it? say it. You know, mm -hmm. and it's like, I, you know, I understand that line of thinking sometimes, but ultimately it's like, that's not how Jesus approached anything. Yes, sir. Regardless of whether I'm there or not, he mm -hmm. wants me to be with him. Yes, sir. And so I say that to say, there's been times where I've mm -hmm. sang thanks thankful songs when I haven't been that thankful. <laughs> um, and it's not about it's not about word of faith. Yes, it's just about like sometimes you just need to be thankful and say the things that you don't feel like you're supposed to say mm -hmm. 
even those moments you feel like you're not supposed to say it. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of a part of the journey is like we disqualify ourselves from so many things mm -hmm. because we feel like, well, we don't measure up or, you know, I'm not really that thankful. So mm -hmm. I can't sing. I'm thankful. It's like, that's not how the Lord approaches mm -hmm. anything. Yes, sir. I have become thankful mm -hmm. because of how much I've thanked him. Yes, sir. Yes, it, sir. it wasn't because... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a better, well, I've got my stuff in order now, so now I'll thank you. Mm -hmm. No, I thanked him in the valley, and I yes, thanked sir. him on the mountaintop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thanked him when I've understood, and I thanked him when I haven't. Yes, sir. You know, and it's like, it just, it, we sometimes we so get into this thing of like, and I'm so glad that the Holy Spirit spoke that to you, because mm -hmm. it's true. Mm -hmm. Don't stop singing to me. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, you don't have to stop singing to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Maybe you never see me the way you want to see me, but mm -hmm. who's to say that you're not going to? Right. Right, you know, mm -hmm. and so we always just gotta right. keep our heart in this posture mm -hmm. of like, listen, yes, sir. He wants us. Mm -hmm. He wants us to sing. Right, sir. He wants us to lift our voice. Yes, sir. Nothing is keeping us. Romans talks about mm -hmm. not height nor depth. Yes. Nor, nor any living thing yes, can sir. separate us from, the, from yeah. the love of God. Yes. Now, if that's true, and mm -hmm. I believe that, mm -hmm. that I have to approach Him like that, mm -hmm. come before the throne of God boldly. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, know sir. that I'm. I'm in right relationship with him. Yes, sir. Let's talk about something, Taylor. Let's talk about something. Yes, sir. Interesting to me um, and you. Let's talk about how black gospel has influenced you musically. Oh, man. And even your worship. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's massively influenced me. Yes, sir. Yeah. Growing up, what, one thing that I commend my grandfather for uh, my grandfather was Pastor Garland Fall. He mm -hmm. built and started the church in North Carolina. Right. It was called Truth Temple. Right. And then when Pastor Brand took over in 2013, we changed the name to City Revival Church. Mm -hmm. um, but one thing that was really, really cool about my grandfather is he loved all styles. Mm -hmm. He loved all, and I mean, he loved all types of people. Right. Even when it wasn't cool to love all types of yes, people. Sir. Yes, my sir. grandfather in the state of North Carolina was one of the first men right to ordain a black minister mm -hmm. in North Carolina in the 70s. Yes, sir. And, I mean, he had crosses burned in his yard. Right. I mean, he had death threats. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor Brandon's talked about that a few right. times, and it's, it's true. Yes, sir. And so, um, and he was connected with that man. His, it was a man by the name of Pastor Don DeGrate, mm -hmm. um, who was a great, great man in, yes, in the city of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. uh, had a great church. And um, so growing up, we used to do, church with them from the time I was little. We used to do a New Year's service yeah. with them. And we would have a New Year's vigil. Like we would come, uh -huh. we would do all kinds of music, and then we would pray yes, in sir. the new year. Yes, sir. Um, and it was amazing. And so I say all that to give context. I grew up listening to Southern gospel music, mm -hmm. black gospel, mm -hmm. um, hymns, mm -hmm. worship. Mm -hmm. I, we we really had an affinity for it all and we loved it all. Mm -hmm. We sang it all. Right. We had all types of mm -hmm. people come to our church and lead and sing. And So, you know, I grew up on uh, Fred Hammond mm -hmm. and Kirk Franklin right. and uh, Israel Houghton mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, all of these people, you know, the Widens. Right. Oh, my yes, God. Sir. I yes, grew sir. up on all of these people, you know, um, and it influenced me greatly because there was mm -hmm. always this this sound yes, that black gospel um, attracted me to mm -hmm. that I couldn't explain. Mm -hmm. um, and so it had a heavy influence. Yes, and sir. so um, when we grew up, I mean, we did stuff by mm -hmm. Kirk Carr and, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, by everybody. Mm -hmm. And so these songs got really deep in my soul. Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. And, and I always... I loved watching when I growing up. I loved watching Bishop G. E. Patterson. Yeah, I loved watching Bishop Jakes. Yes, and sir. All of these great men yes, and generals and leaders in the, yes, in, in the in the black world, mm -hmm. black community, and um, it just influenced me heavily. There was there was just always I don't know how to explain it. There was just this sound that in yes, the sir. black gospel world, yes, um, and in the African American community that. Mm -hmm fascinated me mm -hmm. um and it, it touched me man. Mm -hmm. it touched me in a yes, deep sir. deep place yes sir and so you know i grew up there you know we grew up where we would do a hymn mm -hmm. and then we would do a gaither vocal band song southern gospel <laughs> music song <laughs> then we would do a kirk franklin song <laughs> i mean man we did it all i mean we really did yes sir. and so i thought every church was like that mm -hmm. you know growing up then i go to other churches i'm like boy we we really are the weird church, ain't we? Oh, you know, man. we we did it mm -hmm. all. And so mm -hmm. 
I grew up because of that upbringing. I grew up with a real love and honor for all styles. But but doesn't it show? Doesn't it actually show versatility? Oh, it absolutely does. And, you're, I, and I've tried to do the same with my kids because I mean, the predominant amount of music that we do here is worship, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's why during like you know during the week, like with my kids, I try to introduce them to things that I loved yes, growing up because I want them to have a sense of culture. Right. I don't want them to be mm-hmm. uh, pinned in or boxed into one particular thing. Yes, sir. I want them to have a sense of versatility. Mm-hmm. Um, and that type of upbringing, oh, my mm-hmm. God, it helped me tremendously yes, sir. in worship. Because, you know, there were times we'd go lead um, worship at a Baptist church. Mm-hmm. I, I knew what to do there. Yes, sir. Then we would go to, to African-American churches, communities, mm-hmm. black gospel churches. Mm-hmm. I knew what to do there. Yes, sir. You know, and it, it, it created this sense of... Um, no matter what room or group of people I was with, mm-hmm. I knew what to do. Yes, sir. You know, and my mom was the same way. My mom mm-hmm. still plays, but she was a worship leader for forty years. Yes, sir. I mean, my mom, my mom could play black gospel songs more mm-hmm. easily than she could anything else. Wow. She was always in flats. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? You, you know, you tell her play E, she could do. It. You tell her play E flat, well, she'd be there. Let's go. Oh man, she would be there. Wonderfully talented, and so yes, sir. You know, I just it it did it created a sense of versatility in me. It mm-hmm. created a sense of culture. Yes, sir. And I love that about my upbringing yes, because sir. it helped me honor. Because we need all of it. Yes, sir. We need all of it. That's yes, the thing sir. is people go into their sections and then they stay there. Yes, sir. And it's like, I don't want to be that way. I, mm-hmm. I took from every piece. Yes, sir. And yes, I'm sir. glad that I did because yes, it helped shape my voice. Yes, sir. Um, it helped shape, um, not to use an overly fancy word, but my repertoire. Like it helped yeah. me yeah. have these sort of Rolodex of songs and things that touched me. You know what Brother, I mean? man. And it's helped me lead. Really? It really has. You spend your, on your Rolodex on, on on and the reason why I ask because you spend yeah. on that Rolodex. Oh yeah, right? and you 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 call this name. You sprinkle you sprinkle a little Kurt Carr on. Oh song. yeah, Kurt Carr. Well, that that song specifically that he kept me. Man. Um, you know, so I wouldn't let go. I'm here today Man. because God kept me. I'm alive today only because your grace. Growing up, we had a youth choir. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Pastor Brim was in that youth uh-huh. choir, and it was led by my aunt. Vanessa, uh-huh. and we used to sing that song. Yes, sir. And my sister, who, you know, I've had people tell me that my vocals are great, but <clears throat> my sister is, mm-hmm. nobody knows you, but she's out of this world. Yes, sir. An amazing singer. Yes, sir. And she used to sing that song with mm-hmm. the youth choir. And boy, wow. when I tell you we'd have a fit when she sang that song, boy, as a whole, as a Holy Ghost fit. When I tell you my wife, she comes out of the Baptist church. Yeah, oh yeah. And you know, I don't know how, how how much you went around the Black Baptist church. Oh yeah. But it's something they have talk about having a Baptist fit. Oh yeah, Baptist fit, brother. Man. I know exactly what you're and talking about. When you start singing that, he kept me, <laughs> so I wouldn't let go. Oh yeah. My wife started. She had a you know she hollers yeah, anyway. Yeah. I go back and listen I to love the services. Frankie. Oh and yeah. I'm like, oh God, my wife. Hey, listen, she's a woman that's loud spirit because I did the same thing. I am super loud. I'm shouting, saying amen. I said, so listen, I, I sympathize. And usually, I, I mean, I, I am as well, but yeah. well, my wife, she be loud, but she was like, I, you know, I thought she was going to have a Baptist fit. <laughs> and for those who don't know what a Baptist fit is, you know, it, it, you, you, when I grew up, I would go to church with my grand, my grandparents. Yeah. And you'll see it sometimes even now. Oh, yeah. Um, in traditional back, Baptist churches, um, especially black Baptist churches. Whew. And, and if they get happy, oh, happy they, brother. they may just be sitting there and all of a sudden just, Wah! Yeah. Wah! 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 And, then, and then, oh yeah, then they just back cheek. Yeah, still the dog get out. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. But if it, if it touches, man, and so when you hit that, it was like, this dude is killing this thing <laughs> tonight. Wow. Oh well, God. excuse me. What's funny about that is, <clears throat> excuse me, man. You're good. What's funny about that, um, that particular moment is that, I wasn't even thinking about that song. That's mm-hmm. another one of those moments like, it's why we say sales up are important. Yes, sir. Sales up meaning that, you know, it's not that you're sitting there the whole time going, man, let me think, let me, let me think about a song. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's really not like that. Mm-hmm. A lot of it in that moment was leading up to that. Mm-hmm. As we were singing the, the mm-hmm. uh, I will sing, I will sing. Yeah. We came back down and that phrase just kept coming to my mind. Yeah. He kept me. He kept me. And so that's what I've learned, yeah, yeah. whether it be during the week mm-hmm. or while I'm leading, I, I follow those mm-hmm. those little things yes, that hit my mind. And I know it's the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Those little phrases, those yes, little sir. pieces of songs. Mm-hmm. Those, it was the same thing that happened with praise. Mm-hmm. I heard that bridge. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to sing it. So I heard he kept me. I'm like, I'm going to sing it. 
You know, I'm not, I, I, I wasn't thinking the whole night, like leading up to that. I was yeah. going to do it. That song wasn't even on my radar. I ain't sang that song in 12 years, at least. And so when that song came up, I was like, man, like this is really, this is really special. Cause it, and what was wild is somebody had told my wife, um, when I was doing that, they were like, they leaned over to her and told her like, that's coming from a deep place mm-hmm. when I started singing that. And that's, it's true because I, I was instantly flooded with not only how good God was and how he kept me. Mm-hmm. That reality alone is enough to mm-hmm. make me have a bad Yes, sir. <laughs> but, but even more than that, it was like, like that, like growing up singing that song. I just remember how I felt as a 12 and 13 year old kid mm-hmm. singing that song, going through that. I'm like, man, like, so this flood of Thanksgiving and even memories from growing up just okay. kind of were washing over me yes. as I was singing that. And mm-hmm. it was just like, Yes, sir. It made it really special for mm-hmm. me. Man. It was a special moment. Man, brother, you were singing. I was like, my God. I mean, it was just, was, <laughs> but I, I, I looked, but I, it's interesting. I, I looked around the room. Yeah. And it was like the, the song was registering with, with people oh, in, yeah. in, ama- in an amazing way. Yeah. Whether they knew it was black gospel or not. Oh, yeah. The lyric was hitting them like, whoo, he stuck oh, yeah. to me. Oh, there was some people in the crowd that knew exactly what I said. Oh, yeah. yeah. Especially you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 had, I had a few people come up to me and tell me, a few things like yes, you know, sir. just about that song. Yeah, and so, man. but I know I know what you mean. Just that, yeah, those words. I mean, man. he kept me, and I mean it's so true. I'm alive today because mm-hmm. of his grace. Yes, sir. Oh, how he kept me, man. You know, I grew up. I grew up doing gospel. Yeah. So I grew up around gospel, singing in choirs. Oh, worship, for sure. Worship teams, worship, and so we worship. Israel yeah. And all the, you yeah. Know, the kids. Yeah. Um, but but boy, when I learned about CCM, Contemporary Christian. If you want oh, to say yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. When I learned about that, it was kind of like that was the thing for me. I mean, gospel has its place in my heart. Absolutely. But when I when I, when I I learned about, let's say, Michael W. Smith. Oh, yeah. Or Sonic Flood. Absolutely. It oh, was something beautiful. that those cats were doing yes. that gospel didn't do in me. Sure. Absolutely. Gospel gave me a feel and a vibe, and it, it was wonderful, and I love it. Absolutely. But... When I turn, when I would turn to um, uh, Caleb, I don't know if you've heard of Caleb. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. When I would turn to Caleb, that's awesome. It felt like Caleb was washing me. Yeah. It felt it, it I felt love like that. a spring was. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm just turn on the radio. Now, yeah. At first, I didn't like. I, you know, I, you know, <laughs> I, I was like, Lord Jesus. Yeah. It's just because of where how, how I was. You know, I just hadn't been exposed. That. Absolutely. But boy, once it. And, and as it came to me, I was like, well, Lord, if this is you, let my heart be open. Yeah. And brother, when I tell you, it was like, it was, so my experience is is with it in my yeah. encounter. With right, it. right, right. Oh, man. One, and then one time also, I, I saw Fred Hammond. <laughs> I saw a, video, a DVD of him. <laughs> he was, he was, you know, it was a DVD. He was yeah. doing a performance. Yeah, yeah. And in his private time, he was like worshiping before he got ready to go on stage. Yeah. And he was worshiping the Michael W. Smith. I love and him. I had and I had bought the Michael W. Smith Worship Project. Yeah, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna write. If Fred is listening to Michael w, if I'm gonna give it a listen, I'm going with. Yeah, I'm in the right vein. Thank you, God. Yeah. This, well, that's why I, I think that that stuff is so important. I mm-hmm. think again, that's why I introduced my kids. It's like it's not, it's not just introducing them to a genre of music. Yes, sir. It's about showing my kids that there are pieces of mm-hmm. the Lord. Mm-hmm. In every yes, background, yes, sir. every style, mm-hmm. every piece, like the Lord is in all of it, and we all need each other. Yes, sir. I need yes, a Fred sir. Hammond, mm-hmm. and I need a Michael W. Yes, Smith, sir. Yes, and sir. I need a mm-hmm. Gold City Southern yes, Gospel Music, yes, and sir. I need mm-hmm. hymns, and mm-hmm. I, all of that mm-hmm. stuff. Now, I'm not saying every hymn mm-hmm. or every, because mm-hmm. that's the thing, people get caught up, and they go, well, but what about this? It's like, mm-hmm. hey, listen. I'm not saying everybody in that world yes, sir. is great or needs mm-hmm. to be listened to, mm-hmm. but there are people. Yes, sir. And so I've learned like there are pieces of the Lord and good people in every group. Yes, sir. That you that you yes, really sir. take hold of. Because yes, I was almost the complete opposite. Mm-hmm. I grew up, you know, on some of that stuff, but then something about black gospel spoke to me more deeply even than other mm-hmm. types of music. Mm-hmm. Um mm-hmm. And so that's why I gravitated. So it just it yes, made me really thankful for my upbringing. Yes, for sure. Yes, sir, man. Sure. Man, you you've talked about it. You've hit on it. Yeah, singing prophetically. That, that, I want to talk about prophetic worship. Yeah, my daughter was rewatching. We were, you know, 
I, I wrote down some questions on my phone. Yeah. But I wanted to rewatch the services as well because I was like, man, let's rewatch this. Let's look at this and let's just. Yeah. And so she's rewatching Saturday service with me. We're sitting there and she said, Daddy, they just sung 10 songs. <laughs> and, I, and then she said, and I love it. <laughs> that's awesome. Because that's where we, we, yeah. that's where we come from. That's For sure. That's where we come out of. To the person that's not a worship leader, to the yeah. person, and you've spoken to it already. So the person, or, or or to worship leaders that may watch, sure, it may feel like, why sing prophetically? Why sing a part of a song, or, or a song, and then a part of another <clears throat> song? Why why prophetic worship? What what's up with that? Why sing prophetically? Why well, can't you just sing the song, the whole song, and yeah. move to another song? Yeah, you, in Jesus' name. Well, <laughs> You know, it kind of goes back to what I talked about earlier. You know, um, the idea of singing prophetically, um, I, I've never I've never thought of it as something that I'm intentionally doing. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's it's I have so postured my heart towards the Lord mm -hmm. and I've 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 tuned my ears to his voice. Mm -hmm. To the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That whatever he tells me to do, I do. Yes, sir. Um so Prophetic worship and flow is just something that happens naturally out of me. It's mm -hmm. not anything that I've worked towards mm -hmm. or worked on. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. people have often asked me the same questions. They've asked me like, you know, well, how do you do that? And I tell them, I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I, th there's no real uh, two plus two equals four type of answer that I can give people. Yes, sir. I just know how I. I'm not perfect by any means, mm -hmm. but I know how I live my life. I know that I, that I do my best to to stay postured towards the Lord. I, I have a, a relationship with the Lord, time that I spend with the Lord, um, and I and and most importantly, I'm listening mm -hmm. to the Lord. And yes, so, sir. there's times where we do do a song from top to bottom, and right. then we move on. Yes, sir. Then there's times we don't do a song at all, and it's instrumental for two hours. Mm -hmm. Then there's times where we do. Nine songs in a row, like what your daughter's talking about, and it's bits and pieces from the songs. I don't know that there's a real rhyme or reason explanation mm -hmm. other than that's what the Lord was telling us to do. Mm -hmm. yes, so it's it's really all moment to moment based. Yes, sir. I don't go, I, again, this is where I go back to expectation can be your greatest friend mm -hmm. or your greatest enemy. Mm -hmm. I don't go into any service saying, I'm going to do 10 songs. Mm hmm or, and I mean, half the time, I don't even go into a service going, I'm going to do this song. Sometimes I go into it and go, mm -hmm. I don't have any idea what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I don't feel any song in particular. Mm -hmm. And then there's times where I go in and I have five songs in a row. Can you speak to that? Is, and I'm saying, yeah, because I've been in, in, that, in that place, in that position. For sure. Is that pressure when you go into, you've been with the Lord all week, you've worshiped, you pray, even like God, I've been open, but it's like. Ain't nothing really registering in me right now. I ain't really get. Is there sure. pressure to come in? To come in and you know, okay, Friday's coming. Yeah. Okay, four o'clock is rolling around here. We're yeah. fixing to be meeting in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Todd's gonna be like, hey, what you feeling? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. He'd be like, bro, I ain't feeling nothing. Yeah. Is that pressure, man? There used to be. Uh huh. Uh, but there is, there is no longer. Uh -huh. Used to, I really felt pressure to have something. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think more times than not, if you're postured your heart towards the Lord. And you're just you're just being you with him in relationship. There's always going to be a song mm -hmm. most of the time mm -hmm. that you feel. Mm -hmm. um, but even if there is times where you're like, I have no idea, and you're like you said, I've kept my heart open. I've listened to the Lord, but I don't feel any pressure in that anymore. Yes, sir. Um, I feel zero pressure because here's the thing: I don't have to make anything happen. Yes, sir. And another beauty of that is in North Carolina, I was by myself as a worship leader. Mm -hmm. Um, here, I'm not by myself on any level. So what's great about that mm -hmm. is there's no pressure because I don't feel the need to make anything happen. Mm -hmm. But also, there are other people around me that, right. that help, right. um, whether it be an Aaron Brackens or a mm -hmm. Matt and Paige Putman mm -hmm. or Jessica and Jordan, Jessica Wright and Jordan Smith or uh, Parker or, or, or all of these great, phenomenal people that help lead this expression. If I don't have something, they're probably going to have something. And... Uh, and vice versa. There's been times where they've came in and didn't have anything, and I had two or three songs. And then mm -hmm. there's times where none of us had anything, and we just started instrumentally, and songs start coming. Mm -hmm. It's all about trust. Mm -hmm. I trust the Lord. And so because I trust him, I don't feel any pressure. Man, I really feel like, I, feel, I mean, I mean, I know people may say this, and then it may, and I'm not saying it because it's me doing it. Yeah. I'm saying it because I just feel like it's God also 
weaving things together, even our time. Because yeah. literally, you went through all these names of people, and I have their names because yeah. I, I have a question to ask you about just doing worship. And matter of fact, since we're yeah. there with him, I mean, yeah. Matt Putman. Oh, man. This look, that man, he's so nice and so kind, but when he gets in front of a microphone and gets oh, a good turn, he's, he's like, got it. Oh, my God. He's got it. There ain't no doubt about it. And then his wife. Oh. You said Jessica, Jordan, Parker. Parker, Aaron. Uh, Pastor P. Yeah, um, Pastor P, that's right. Aaron. Aaron, she, she, absolutely. She, she's not new. She's, she, she, she's she, been around she for a little while. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a wonderful thing. He, oh, he it's amazing. She, she's, she's, on, she's on staff now. Absolutely. Um, then, like, this past weekend, you had, you know, oh, Tina Lovejoy and, oh, yeah. and, 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 and... Tina Lovejoy and Joel, Joel and and uh, uh, all kinds of people. Ty, Ty, Ty's brother didn't sing, but CJ, I know he was here. Yep, CJ's amazing. I mean, what, I mean, what is it like to... You could have any combination Yeah. a week. You can go with any combination and go, what is, what is that like? The short answer to that is it's fun. Yes, sir. You know, because again, we all come from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. which is what's so fun about it. And we have, we may have some some crossing, mm -hmm. some crossing overs of some of our backgrounds, but a lot of everybody kind of has things that are similar and things that are different. And yes, it's sir. fun because you never know what's going to happen. Right. You know, there's right. this sense of like uh, anything could happen. Yes, sir. Because all of us in the same room at the same time leading. Um, and any given time, you know, I've learned this as a leader. Even when I'm not leading, there are songs that are in my heart. And mm -hmm. I may be down front worshiping and I may be singing these things that are mm -hmm. coming. And mm -hmm. It's like this sense of always being sort of ready. Yes, I, I have to say it in a weird way, but yeah. you're always yeah. sort of ready for anything. And, and uh, leading with all of these amazing, gifted, talented, loving, amazing people has mm -hmm. been just so much fun. Yes, sir. You know, because you can throw things back and forth. Mm -hmm. You have different ideas. And, yes, sir. and it even changes your perspective. I think this is, it's very healthy. Even going back to my upbringing, it's very healthy for people to have this sense of versatility and mm -hmm. leading with more than just yourself. Yes, sir. Um, because it helps you realize that your style and flow is not the only one needed in the family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Pops mm -hmm. is big. On, especially in the worship mm -hmm. expression that we have. He's big on having multiple voices. Mm -hmm. And I love that because mm -hmm. it's needed. Mm -hmm. um, my voice is needed. Mm -hmm. Aaron's voice mm -hmm. is needed. Mm -hmm. pa Pastor Parker's voice is needed. Mm -hmm. And Jessica's and Jordan's mm -hmm. and Aaron. And it's like all these people, th these these voices are needed yes. because everybody has a piece. Man. Everybody has a piece. When, when I, I, I know people probably didn't like it and they may didn't understand it, but when I, when I would lead worship, um, there would be it was like it was like it would be pieces and parts of songs where I would be like, okay, now you come sing on this. Yeah. But we didn't practice it. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I hear something. Yeah. And and I hear your voice. Yeah. It was interesting. I, there was a young man. He just sung in the back. He just sung tenor. Yeah. He sung in the choir and he sung tenor for the worship team. And I don't know. You know, you didn't worship, but yeah. I just felt uh, we were singing, Lord, you are good. Yeah. And we was on the back end. You are good. Um, um, yeah. Oh. So we on that part. I love that song. And I just was like, I was just like, he was in college at the time. I said, hey, man, come sing on this. He had never led, but he, his background skills yeah. was like straight strong. Yeah. And after that, he tells me, he said, man, that was the first time I ever led a song. Wow. I'm like, for real? Yeah. I'm blown away because I'm like, dude, yeah. you. I, every everybody that I see that's doing something that's doing, he's always singing background for somebody doing yeah. some, in a choir singing. Yeah, I'm like this is your first. Wow, that's wild. But it, but but being open to be like, okay, your voice is important right here. Absolutely, and, and your voice is needed right here. Yes, that's that's amazing. Oh, man. it's very needed. I mean, like, that's that's like the king. The kingdom is a melting pot. Yes, sir. It really is. Yes, it sir. should be. Yes, sir. The kingdom should be a melting pot in yes, as sir. many ways. It is. It's like you need these different voices. You need these different people. But and too like. You need these different um, these people's stories. Yes, sir. Because it's more it's more than just leading a song. It's it's even like that. Like mm -hmm. I think that like a lot of times my my sort of vein is more joy, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving style stuff, and it's because that's my story. Mm -hmm. I'm very thankful for that. And, yes, and others, it may be different mm -hmm. or the same. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's definitely needed more voices. So I'm almost done. Uh, Are you good? I did say this earlier, but I think it has to be um, said. Yeah. When you come to 
let's say Friday night. Yeah. You come here something like this, like this meeting, this gathering, from spaces that I've come from. Yeah. You got 500 people here. Sure. You got another 100 around somewhere else. Yeah. You may have a thousand, who knows how many people watching. And then who's going to watch? Yeah. Your mind, I mean, my wife talked about this. Your mind can go to performance. Oh, for sure. We got to kill this. Oh, yeah. We got to give them something that's like, because my mind has went there before. Oh, for sure. My, my mind, mind is mind like, look, Absolutely. Hey, we got to kill it. I yeah. Mean, we got to get to make sure the chords are right. Make sure your your parts are together. <laughs> yeah. Come on. We got to, we got to kill this. Let's let's we gonna put in these extra rehearsals. Yeah. Because we got this big thing. People are coming. Yeah. We got to kill it. Yeah. And I it, 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 I, I I thought about it, it and I didn't write it down, but it just came back to my mind about how like there was especially with Friday night. It was like. Just so not that it is it, it is, but it just like no performance. Yeah. Now that may not have been the intent. Sure. But it was like we don't have to perform. We don't have to oh, yeah. like get this hype situation That's going right. on. So you be like, oh man, it was no, it was yeah. like we're gonna play these chords <laughs> and yep. we're gonna go we're gonna follow the leading of the wind. Absolutely. And I think that's what's. I think that's something that's so amazing about yeah. You know, being here and about yeah. what you all do. Oh yeah, it's like, it's like. I mean, my wife was talking like it's just no performance. Well, I you know I struggled with that sense of performance for a long time, and I would say that a lot of it was killed in me even up to moving here. But then I realized even in moving here, mm -hmm. there was still more of it left in me than I thought. I went, wow, mm -hmm. okay, you know, because you had this. Th there's this sense of like. Um, you want to do a good job. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't think that that's all wrong. Right, right. I think, I think like, you know, being prepared is a good thing. Right. There is a, you can be excellent in the kingdom and not be performance based. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So you can take, you can do the extra practices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you can do the, the things that you want to do to make things excellent. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that's all wrong. Right. Um, Again, not to overuse this word, but it's about the posture of the heart. Yes, sir. It's about where your heart is. If mm -hmm. your heart is to do things excellent and to have things properly prepared for the Lord, mm -hmm. that's what matters. Mm -hmm. But if your heart is to be like, I'm going to kill this thing, right. then that that's the issue. <laughs> it's not about being ready that's the issue. It's not about practicing that's the issue. Because mm -hmm. some people will say like, you know, man, like, you know, no performance. Like, we, we don't even practice this stuff anymore. And I'm like, well, I mean. Mm -hmm. You just practice every once in a while. Right. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, maybe be prepared a little bit. You know, there is a sense of preparedness that is necessary. Mm -hmm. But it's about how I approach that preparedness mm -hmm. that matters. Mm -hmm. It's the heart posture towards it. Mm -hmm. And so, coming into this weekend, you know, probably the least I've ever been. Like, I don't, It does, not that I don't care, mm -hmm. but let me use a better word. I'm not thinking about how the room is responding to what I'm doing. Yes, sir. I'm not thinking when I do that Kurt Carr song, like, woo, this is going to fire it up. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't yeah. think that anymore. Yeah. You know, I used to have that thinking, but I'm like, whether it does or it doesn't, it's in my heart. Right. And I know the Holy Spirit is telling me to sing it. So I'm going to sing it for him. Right. And if it moves people as a secondary byproduct of mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. awesome. Yes, sir. If, but if it doesn't move anybody but me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. awesome. Yes, sir. And, and that's the biggest thing. You know, Pops has really instilled in all of us and Tyler mm -hmm. as well. No performance. Yes, sir. You're not being evaluated or mm -hmm. measured. Mm -hmm. And whether you do the best you've ever done or the worst you've ever done, mm -hmm. we don't think any differently about you. Yes, sir. And that's what really killed the last pieces of that performance in me. I'm yes, like, sir. when you realized how loved you are mm -hmm. and how much the Father cares about you, you don't want to perform. Yes, sir. It's like sitting down on the couch with the Lord and just yes, playing sir. a guitar. Yes, sir. That's the way that I approach mm -hmm. it now. Yes, and if you notice... 75% of me, when I lead, my eyes are closed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not even looking. And even the way we change the stage, because the stage used to be a monstrosity. Mm -hmm. And it used to be pointed <laughs> towards the crowd. Uh -huh. Now it's small, uh -huh. and we're all of us leaders are staring you, at each other. Look, looking at each other. We're not even mean. looking at the crowd yes, sir. at yes, sir. all. Yes, sir. Um, mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. you know, going into that, that helps. There are practical things that you can do mm -hmm. to help eliminate that sense of performance. 
But there are also things, it, it's just about posturing your heart, man. Listen, Again, I know I'm using that word a lot, no, but no. it's true. It rings true. Like mm-hmm. how you have your heart towards how you view things really matter. Man, I, I, I can't remember the names that Pops uses, but he speaks about worship and he's like, a, how, there, there, how there, were, there were those who, um, they, they, they looked at the people. And they, I guess that was their measuring stick for how they were. Yeah, worshiping. the Levites. Uh-huh. Yep. But then there was other ones that, that their, their worship was. The like, Zadok priesthood. They, yep. they only, the Zadoks. Yep. They only, they, look, I'm, my worship is to him. I'm not yeah. looking at the people. That's right. I could care less. That's right. <laughs> what you That's think right. and what you want to hear. And well, and the best thing feel. that I can do as a leader for the people is mm-hmm. not be aware of them. Mm-hmm. That's the best thing I can do as a leader. Yes, sir. The best way to lead people in a room. Mm hmm is to lead them without being concerned about them. Mm-hmm. And so my my job, mm-hmm. my job <laughs> is to attend to his face. Mm-hmm. My job is to worship him and mm-hmm. love him and be that way during the week, mm-hmm. not just coming in on a Friday night mm-hmm. and that's the first time that I've worshiped him all week. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, my job is to attend to the is to tend to the Lord, is to tend to that internal flame. It's uh-huh. to it's to realize how loved I am, mm-hmm. how cared for I am. Yes, sir. And then all of that on a Friday night be an overflow mm-hmm. and not be the startings or the beginnings of it, if that yes, makes sir. sense. Yes, sir. No, no. Plenty of sense. Man, there's a lot we can talk about, but I, 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 this is my last one. Okay. My last question, man, to you. Um, and you talked about a lot of things, especially even the heart posture, a lot of things. Yeah. Um, you know, what is what is Yahweh doing? In your heart as it pertains to worship. What is he what is he doing? You and you've talked about some things that's, that shifted from yeah. when you were in North Carolina yeah. to now. Yeah. How you know, even with the message, um, the beloved identity, just you know, what what is he doing? And you share some things, but I mean yeah. can you expound this is this is it, but you know, can you expound on just a little yeah, bit more for sure. Book? Well, I mean, simply he's rearranging my entire world. Mm-hmm. Um my entire style of leadership from a worship perspective has changed almost completely. Mm-hmm. Um, not, not, and, and when I say style, I don't mean how I sing mm-hmm. or what I sing. Mm-hmm. I mean my approach to what matters and what doesn't matter. Yes, sir. And it really goes, again, again, not to be a dead horse, but it just goes back to that heart posture. My mm-hmm. posture towards things have changed. Mm-hmm. I don't think anymore like, all right, I've got to make this happen or I've got to, I've got to move the room. The room needs to shift. I need mm-hmm. to. I need to do this, or I need to do that. Um, and there are different things that happen when come up when you're leading. But mm-hmm. what's really happening on my interior world is simply the message that Pops is preaching. Mm-hmm. I'm becoming more and more aware every day of just how loved I am, mm-hmm. how cared for I am, how how I how accepted I am. Mm-hmm. And that's what's changing me. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily changing how I sing or what I sing. Mm-hmm. It's just changing that when I do do that, how it comes across. Yes, sir. Um, and, you know, people have often said, like, kid, like children, when they know that they're loved, mm-hmm. the way that they respond. Even I've heard people say, like, when a man is really loved and... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the words. When a man is really loved or backed by the woman that he's married to, mm-hmm. that man mm-hmm. is invincible. Yes, sir. Because if he knows mm-hmm. that that woman's behind me, mm-hmm. if she believes in me, if she loves me, if she, mm-hmm. it's the same with yeah, the Lord. Yeah. Yes, it's sir. like because I know now, I'm really convinced. Yes, sir. I may have thought I was convinced. Yes, sir. Before it was now that I really am convinced that I'm loved. Yes, sir. And there's nothing that I can do to escape him. Mm-hmm. That changes how I lead everything. Yes, sir. And it's impacted me. It's changing. It, it eradicated that performance. It eradicated that thinking that, like, I've got to make everything happen. Yes, sir. Because I don't. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just changing the entirety of my interior world. Yes, sir. It changes how I approach a devotional life. It mm-hmm. changes. And because of that, it starts affecting everything. Yes, sir. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And yes, so sir. I don't know that it's one thing in particular that it's helping me do. Other than it's just the more I've realized how loved I am, mm-hmm. the more it's changed how I lead. Yes, sir. I have um, I have tremendously been blessed. Thank I mean, you, man. and it's because it, so much of what you said, yeah, was interweaved to in this, uh, and you would say things that would it would it would yeah. just so line up with what with the questions that awesome. I already had, man. Thank and you, man. Even speaking your your heart posture, but also speaking even to um, 
prophetic worship yeah. and worship and being a worship leader. So I, I hope and I pray that um, those who um, worship leaders that may be on and yeah. that, that you can take some nuggets yeah. from from that. For sure. And from, Thank and, you. And, and they got to be able to take some because it well, was so rich. And one thing I would say to people that, that if they're in a position of leading worship, like mm -hmm. the responsibility of a worship leader mm -hmm. is... And has ne has never been and will never be. Mm -hmm. Make sure the people are responding. Mm -hmm. That's not the responsibility. Mm -hmm. As long as you're tending the flame of your heart towards your love for Him, mm -hmm. and you are, you realize how inside of Him you are, mm -hmm. and how inside of you He is. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. Yes, sir. Don't, don't ever lead from the perspective of I've got to make things happen. Mm -hmm. I've got to do this. I've mm -hmm. got to do that. You lead. From the perspective, I am deeply, deeply loved. Yes, sir. And I am as righteous as God. Yes, sir. And you'll, when you start realizing that revelation, mm -hmm. it will start to change things in you without you having to change things. Yes, sir. So lead yes, sir. to Him. Mm -hmm. It's to Him. Yes, sir. You know, there's an old, there's an old CCM song, mm -hmm. "Audience of One." Yes, sir. I have yes, an sir. audience of one. Yes, sir. That's it. Yes, sir. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate love you, you, and I know I know the people here love you and appreciate you, yes, sir. as well as the um, uh, how do we say that? How do we say that here? I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> even our virtual audience. Yeah, uh, they're blessed by you know what you give and what you render. Thank you, and so we thank you for your heart and yes, for sir. your spirit, and it just I I, I it, listen. Continue to be that joyful, thankful, <laughs> exuberant worship yes, leader that you be. You be having the guitar up, you rock it. I said, ooh, he feeling good tonight. <laughs> Tonight's going to be a good, good yeah. night. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Love you, man. Love Thank you, me. sir.